Hello everyone, Jennifer Maker here. Today I'm sharing all of the inexpensive sublimation blanks that I have found at the Dollar Tree. Sublimation crafting is a lot of fun, but it can also get expensive because I don't know about you, but I am always in need of blanks to put things on. I have a feeling you are too. So I hit the dollar store to find low cost everyday items that we could sublimate on. And after lots of testing, I have found 10 items from the Dollar Tree that look fantastic sublimated, if I do say so myself. You need to use the right materials and techniques and settings, but I'm gonna share all of that with you. So let me tell you all about what I found and everything that I use so you can make your own versions, including some fun and free designs that I have to share with you. Let's get started. So every blank you see on this table has passed my sublimation test, but sometimes they need a little extra help. And I'm gonna show you how each item turned out and what I did to make it look awesome. All right, so now for these sublimation tests that I did, I'm using my sublimation printers. I have several, as you can see here. Sublimation ink, sublimation paper, white butcher paper, cardstock, plus a few simple tools like scissors, and of course my heat press. I've got my auto press and my easy press over here. I also use my retro summer design collection filled with fun and colorful phrases, which you can get to use yourself totally free over at jennifermaker.com slash Dollar Tree Sublimation Ideas. If you're looking at some of these items and wondering how on earth things like a glass cutting board are going to work, I'll let you in on a little secret right now. Laminating pouches, that's right. You may have used laminating pouches for papers or ID, but it turns out they are the key to sublimating on so many solid surfaces. These are so cool. Can you guess which projects I use them on? <laughs> Put your guess in the comments and let me know how you did at the end. So now let's take a look at each item and see how they did. I'll share a bit on how I sublimated each item as we go, but just know that you can find all of the details and step-by-step -step directions over at jennifermaker.com slash dollar tree sublimation ideas. I really love personalizing fabric. I picked up these microfiber washcloths at the Dollar Tree, which are 100% polyester, so they work really well with sublimation dye. So I just added my Just Living the Dream design on them. I love how bright the rainbow colors stand out on these. They look awesome, don't they? Now to sublimate these microfiber washcloths, you'll want to first remove the loose fibers with a lint roller. And then I press my design at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 60 seconds. Caring for these is really pretty simple. As with any sublimation project, you don't wanna risk reactivating the sublimation ink with extremely hot water or hot drying. So wash them on cold, maybe warm, and use gentle detergent. Then you can air dry them or use a low heat dry cycle. They will last for ages. So if you want some more space to work with, these microfiber towels were in the car supply area at Dollar Tree. They're really gentle, so they're nice to use for cleaning screens, picking up dust, and lots of other cleaning purposes. They're just kind of soft and nice too, I like them. I added my Craft A Life You Love design by pressing at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 50 seconds and see how nice the colors look. I can't wait to hang these up in my craft room for the reminder. And just like the washcloths, these were super easy to sublimate. A few passes with a lint roller picks up any fuzz that could mess with your design, so don't forget to do that. It's also a good idea to wipe your hand over the fibers to make sure they're all going in the same direction before you sublimate onto them. So you always wanna do that with anything that has a texture like this. It, you get a better result when you do that. Pillows are a great easy item to customize, especially with sublimation. I found these satin pillowcases at the Dollar Tree, and then I added my Take It Easy design onto them. But of course, you could include other quotes, images to match your room's theme or initials. And these pillowcases are inexpensive enough that you could decorate and swap them out for every season. Imagine a Tooth Fairy pillow. That would be really cool design for a children's bedroom, don't you think? 
Now I was a little nervous about sublimating onto satin since it can be delicate, but these held up really well by pressing at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 60 seconds. And I'm really excited that sublimation works so well on these satin pillowcases because they're much nicer for your skin and hair than cotton pillowcases. And since the sublimation design becomes part of the fibers, the decoration doesn't change that benefit. These feel just the same with or without the sublimation design. I was really excited to find polyester socks at the Dollar Tree. They're comfy and they take the sublimation dye really well. And you can press a few at the same time if your heat press is large enough too. So this is a really cool, fun gift idea. Now I added a smaller version of my Just Living the Dream design to these by pressing at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 60 seconds. And I think they are so cute. That's another nice thing about sublimation. Since the designs are usually very high quality and they make sure mine are for you, you can adjust the size a lot and still get great results. Socks are really fun to decorate and there are lots of different placements to try so you can play around quite a bit. You can put the design on the bottom of the sock if you want a little surprise when you put your feet up or put it on the top of the sock so you can see the design. Just remember to orient it so you or someone else can read it. You can also put little designs that would peek out of a shoe, like at the tip of the sock right here. And even if you make a mistake, it will still totally be a functional sock still, so don't be afraid to experiment. This item is a little different and I wasn't quite sure how it would work out, but I love it. The spinning garden flowers are very popular and cute on their own, but I wanted to make ours stand out. Adding some alternating designs did the trick. Isn't this super cute? And no, I didn't stick the whole spinner in the heat press. Sometimes you have to think outside the box to sublimate an item, or maybe even take the box apart. I found that the petals are held in place by wires that are really pretty easy to take off and put back on. Let me show you. So look where the petal meets the center and you'll see wires going into these small holes. Gently pull on the petal and they should pop right out, just like this. And then when you're done sublimating the petal, just stick the wires back in, making sure the design faces the correct way, of course. Simple as that. So the petals on the flower are nylon, and they take sublimation dye really well at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 60 seconds. The front is much brighter than the back, so make sure you add the designs to the same side of each petal for the best results. And you could add so many different designs to the spinner. You could also add like a person's name for a party or maybe garden related symbols. Get creative, have fun. So these galvanized metal items are totally different from the other projects and look how nicely they came out. Isn't this amazing? Now there is an important step for these. Remember those laminating pouches that I showed you earlier? We're going to use those. Here's one of those laminating pouches. Watch the assembly video to get all of the details on how I did this. Now this is a perfect example of how the same design can sublimate differently depending on the item, right? Uh, sublimation ink isn't solid like, let's say, craft or iron on vinyl is. So on the cloth, this design looks really nice and stands out on the white fabric. But then on the plaque, you can see the different metal colors shining through. It really changes the look of the inks, especially in the red area, don't you think? Now, on an item with a surface like this, knowing that the background will show through is really important. If we, for example, sublimated a photo of people, and yes, we can totally do that, the faces would be distorted by the background of the metal. That's probably not the result that you'd want, so always keep in mind the surface when you're sublimating new materials. For a project like this plaque, letting the surface influence the design is the added interest that I was looking for. You can really see the interaction on this Summer Vibes plaque since it has a yellow background. And I really love these little metal tags right here. I added a just for you design and I can't wait to use this on a gift. 
Now adding the laminate and sublimating on it worked best at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So you'll need a powerful heat press, one that's high enough to go up to 400 degrees. And make sure to watch my assembly video on how to work with the laminating pouches so you don't damage your equipment and you get good results. It's really pretty easy as long as you follow the steps. How cute is this little wipe off board? It's attached to the stand so you can just fold it up and press on top just like this. Now I've seen people decorate these um, white little white boards, little easel boards with and without the laminate sheet so I tried both. This is the one with laminate and this is the one without. I think I get better results without the lamination layer. This way you can save a step and the dry erase markers still work perfectly on a decorated surface. Doesn't this look amazing? So this is without the lamination sheet. So you can do either way, it's really up to you. Now I pressed my Wi-Fi design at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 60 seconds with perfect results as you can see. Now my last three Dollar Tree sublimation ideas are some of the best. These fleece blankets are perfect for sublimation. If you wanna make any of these, the step-by-step -step directions from preparing the files to pressing are in my assembly video. I'll link it below the video uh, in the description for you. Now first, I added my Twinkle Twinkle design to this pretty blue blanket, and I am thrilled with how it came out. One really important tip to remember is to lint roll off any loose fuzz before you add your sublimation design. Since the design will dye whatever it touches, it's really easy to dye loose fiber instead of the blanket. And then when that loose piece comes off, you have a hole in your design. So be sure to lint roll this. Now, Dollar Tree has expanded their arts and crafts section, and there are so many fun items in there. I really love their simple canvas board for sublimation. All you have to do is add a layer of lamination and then sublimate right on top of it. I added my love design with the hearts and I got a great result. The lamination layer will add a, a layer of shine to the surface, so it almost looks like a sealed painting. Isn't this cool? And finally, when I saw the glass cutting board, I wasn't really sure how well sublimation would work, <laughs> but I just had to try it. And with the help of our laminating pouches, you can easily transfer photos to glass now. I added my photo to the back of the cutting board so it can still be used. Now don't add any decorations to the front if you're ever going to want to use this cutting board with food. This project might look advanced, but really it's not. I'll show you all the steps from picking a photo to preparing the surface in my bonus assembly video over at jennifermaker.com slash Dollar Tree Sublimation Ideas. So are you ready to start your sublimation experiments now too? I can't wait to see what you make with my designs and your own ideas. And remember, you can totally get creative with these. Mix and match designs with different items, use them on similar surfaces, just keep playing with your new skills. And if you want to try your hand at designing for sublimation, I've included a few blank backgrounds like you see here in my collection as well. You can add your own quote or another design very easily following my tutorial over at jennifermaker.com slash sublimation prints. If you need any help getting set up for sublimation, check out my sublimation startup mini course at jennifermaker.com slash sublimation startup. I walk you through choosing and setting up your sublimation printer with the right sublimation ink, show you in more detail all of the tools that you can use and the variety of things that you can sublimate onto, and then I show you how to use software to print and press beautiful sublimation projects. You can sign up right now and learn at your own pace over at jennifermaker.com slash sublimation startup. I also have a group just for sublimation crafting where you can get help and tips from other crafters who love to sublimate too. Come join us at jennifermaker.com slash sublimation group to ask questions, share ideas, and get inspired. It is an awesome place. Now I know I haven't covered everything there is to know about Dollar Tree sublimating here, but I am always happy to help. Just watch for more sublimation tutorials because I have more ideas and things I wanna show you and leave any questions you have below this video so I can point you in the right direction. And that's it for today. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love.